Um, I'd heard that they had a good balance of practical and theory and that there was a lot of hands-on experience in this course that you might not have gained in other um, states that were offering similar courses. It's also very close to where I live and the setting of the um, of the camp is, is just so beautiful and particularly for a horticulture student it's, um, it's a really great environment to be studying in. I finished my course at the end of last year and applied for a scholarship that was offered by the Jewish National Fund to Israel to work in the Jerusalem Botanical Gardens for uh, six months. I applied right at the end of my studies and I, and I got the scholarship along with another, uh, another NMIT student called Trevor. So in March this year I, uh, I went, to, went to Israel and I worked in the gardens for end, ended up being a total of seven months. It was just the most incredible experience I've probably ever had. And though that, you know, along with that opportunity, it's opened up a lot of doors for me since returning to Australia in regards to employment just through experience that I've gained working in the botanical gardens and working in a different country. I enjoyed um, going on excursions to some of the big gardens around Melbourne so with our teachers who were just so knowledgeable about horticulture. It was a really good time to learn about different plants. Our pruning classes were held at different locations outside of the campus, um, which, was, which was an opportunity to put our practices to good use. I finished last year and you know since I've had this opportunity to work overseas I knew that I wanted to work in a, in a big garden and also to combine my previous experience as a photographer with horticulture. I had the opportunity in Israel to take a lot of photographs for the gardens and that crossover between my, my previous and current career has been something that I would like to pursue in Australia. The skills I learned at NMIT have been used every day in my current place of work. I work now at the Heidi Museum of Modern Art in their kitchen garden and so all of the skills I've learned through, from plant health through to pruning, plant identification, they're all skills that I put into practice every day of my working life. They've got good horticultural facilities here at MIT in Fairfield, the, uh, they've got an extensive nursery um, and a very good propagation shed which of course were really good for our students, good places for us to learn. Uh, having all, all of those um, facilities on site as well was a, a benefit and the proximity to the parks in this area was good for our plan, plan identification um, and a number of other courses. The staff were great here. I, I got along with the staff really well. I've maintained friendships with the staff since leaving and um, I regularly well, try to keep in contact with them and uh, let them know how I've gone since leaving. They've just been amazingly supportive. Um, to me the whole way through and I could not, couldn't really ask for a better group of people. I think they're slowly getting recognised more these days. I mean there are obviously some other institutions have got a bigger name in the horticultural industry but I think NMIT is now being viewed as an institution that offers horticulture students a more practical experience while studying um, with that emphasis on hands-on on work which might not be offered at some of the other places. So I think you know they're, they're definitely being viewed in a, a positive light. I, I know quite a few people that have gone through NMIT, whether they're apprentices or, you know, diploma or certificate for people that have got, all got jobs in the industry. Um, so they, I guess they must be doing something right. Just to make the best of your time here and the more you put in, the more you'll get out of. NMIT has over 500 courses to keep you up to speed. Get the right future fit. Contact nmit.edu.au.